Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am starting out by prepping my skin with some Max, MAC Fix Plus Spray and then I'm priming using the Tarte Clean Slate Brightening Primer. So I'm just smoothing this all over my skin. Then for foundation, I'm using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation. You guys know I love this. So I'm just dribbling some of that onto my face and using my Sigma F88 brush, which is a flat angled kabuki just to buff this all over my skin. It was a little bit too light for me, but that's okay. We made it work with bronzer. Then I'm going in with the NYX foundation stick in, I think it's the shade Caramel to Cream Contour. So I'm just underlining my cheekbones and then going around my temples and my hairline and down my nose and a little bit on my chin and I am just going to blend it all out. I love doing this just to give me like a nice natural kind of contour look, I guess. Um, so I'm using my angled kabuki from Sigma, the F84 brush, just to buff this into my skin. And then I'm just going back in with my foundation brush that I used at the beginning and just making sure the edges are really nice and blended. Then for my eyes, I'm starting with Benefit Air Patrol Eye Primer and I'm just smudging a bit of that onto my eyelids and blending it out using a large fluff brush from Sigma. And then going into the TARDIS Pro Palette, I am taking the shade, I think it's called Classic, it is just like a bone shade and I'm just setting all of my eyelids with that so that my shadows blend seamlessly over the top. Then I'm just applying some tape to the outer corners of my eyes, you guys know I love doing this when I want a really crisp line. So then I'm going back into the palette and I'm taking this medium kind of browny purpley shade, I guess you would call it, on a Sigma E40 brush and I'm just buffing this into the crease as my transition. Then I'm taking this purpley mauve shade and I'm doing the exact same thing, keep, keeping it a little bit lower towards the crease and I'm bringing it down along the edge of the tape but I am just pretty much keeping it in that outer corner and then buffing it into the crease. Then I'm taking the shade next to it. It's kind of a more plummy purple, I guess. And I'm using an E25 brush from Sigma, which is a more precise blending brush. And I'm just doing the same thing. I'm buffing it into the outer corner and then through the crease, just using little circular motions and windscreen wiper motions. And then here I'm going in with an E37 brush, which is just like a like really big fluffy blending brush, and I'm just blending all of those edges. And then I'm taking two deep purple shades from the palette. They're like an eggplanty purple and more of a pink berry purple. So I'm mixing them together, then using an E38 brush, which is more of a dense, precise brush. And I'm basically creating kind of a halo effect. So I'm applying it in the outer corners, through the crease and in the inner corner, but leaving the center of the lid bare. And then on that same E38 brush, I'm just blending some of the black shade into the outer corner, um, just to add a little bit more depth and definition. And then just adding a tiny little bit in the inner corners as well. Then just going back in with an E40 brush, this one's a clean one, and I'm just making sure everything is super seamlessly blended. And then back in with that bone shade I used originally, I'm using this on an E59 brush just to highlight the brow bone and make sure my shadows aren't blended too high up to, towards the brow. And then a little bit more blending with the E40 brush because you can never blend enough. Here I am taking a Models Prefer Shadow Stick and it is just a metallic purple and as you can see I'm just drawing it onto the lid where I don't have any eyeshadow and then using a P86 brush from Sigma to just like blend it in kind of thing. And then here I'm going in with the Sigma Glitter. It is so beautiful. I'm using some MAC Fix Plus on a brush this is a cream color brush I believe and I am just blending that onto the eyelid and I did take it more into the inner corners than I originally planned because it was just so beautiful I couldn't not have it on there 
and then I'm just going back in with the E38 brush here with no additional product and blending the edges very softly. And then here I'm just adding a little bit more of the black in the outer corner. Then for the winged liner, I'm using my model's prefer eyeliner that was in collaboration with Samantha Jade. I absolutely love this eyeliner. I'm not sure if it was limited edition, but any felt tip black eyeliner will do or whatever kind of eyeliner works for you. I'm just creating a nice wing and then removing the tape. Then I'm taking my Eye of Horus black eyeliner pencil and I'm just using that to tight line in my eyes. Then I am curling my lashes and applying a coat of Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte, which is my fave. Then for falsies, I'm using my Krepke Lashes in Istanbul. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but I hope I'm not butchering it. And then I just used this little lash tool that came with my package. Um, she actually sent me these lashes to kind of review and she was kind enough to send me a little lash tool that squeezes your lashes with the falsies. Anyway, and then I am just concealing and highlighting with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer like I do in like every video, um, which was a little bit too fair again. I don't know what I was thinking, but I'm setting all of that in place using my Wet n Wild Contour Palette Duo kind of thing. So I'm using the highlight shade to set everywhere and then I'm using the contour shade which is very very warm toned um, but it did help to bring the warmth back into my face and match my body a little better and I'm using an F23 brush which is a super large angled fluffy contour brush and I'm just placing that in all of the areas I want to bronze and contour. Then I'm just going in with a duo fiber brush, the F50 from Sigma, and I'm just pretty much blending out that contour and highlight just to make sure the edges are seamless. And then I'm using the Sigma blush in the shade Pet Name. This video is not sponsored by Sigma, by the way, guys. I'm just loving their stuff lately. Um, anyway, and then to highlight, I'm using the Nicole Guerrero and Anastasia palette. I'm using the lightest highlight shade in that palette, the white shade, and oh my goodness, oh my goodness, it's so good, so good. I just gave my face another spritz with Fix Plus to settle those powders, and then I'm going back in with that purple shade underneath the eyes, and I am buffing this quite messily actually. And I took the berry shade with the black mixed together and I am just applying this right up close to that lower lash line and then to line my waterline I'm using this Marc Jacobs gel pencil in Mist Me which is a beautiful lilac purple and then I'm just applying some mascara to my lower lashes and applying a little bit more of that glitter underneath the lower lash line and then for my lips, I am lining them with the Makeup Store Nude Beauty Lip Liner, which is a beautiful nude color. So I'm just outlining them completely and then filling them in with the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Skimpy, which is a perfect nude. I absolutely love it. And then I just applied a little bit of this Sigma Lip Switch. As you can see, it's the first time I tried it and I was impressed. It is so beautiful, it's like holographic on your lips. So I just applied that over the top and then highlighted my inner corners with the same highlight color from the Anastasia palette. And that completed the entire look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye.